My name's Josh Allen. I'm the Monitoring Research Manager at the Wildlife Trust for Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire. I oversee the monitoring programme for the Trust. What this means in practice is that we organise surveys for things including monitoring dormouse nest boxes, to surveys on our grassland and woodland reserves, to more recently aerial photography using drones. Um, the information we gather from these surveys is used to inform the management of our reserves. Each of the Wildlife Trust reserves holds thousands of individual species and each of those are going to have individual unique habitat requirements. The work the Trust does to carry out monitoring on the reserves is therefore absolutely crucial to getting the management right. That's only become more important as the effects of climate change kick in and species begin to move. Cooper's Hill in Bedfordshire, which sits on the Greensand Ridge, which runs from Leighton Buzzard over to Gamlingay. And the Greensand Ridge is made up of sandstone, which is very nutrient poor, very free draining, very acidic. And this favours some rare habitats such as heathland and acid grassland. And Cooper's Hill is the best place in our three counties to come and see these habitats. So one of the problems we've had here at Cooper's Hill is nutrient enrichment of the soil, mostly through leaf fall from the surrounding broadleaf trees, also through atmospheric deposition of nitrogen. And this has allowed the grass wall to grow very thick and suppress the heather seedlings coming through. So we decided to do some management trials to see if we could encourage more young heather plants on this site. And the way we did that was that we took off the top layer of turf and then left the bare ground beneath. So as well as monitoring the trial plot, like the one behind me, we also monitored the control plot where we did nothing and just let the grass remain. In those plots, we, now we're up to five years, we only have 7% cover of heather. But in these trial plots, we've taken away the grass got over 30% heather coverage. So now that we know that this method works here, we can roll it out on a larger scale across the rest of the site. So the slope behind me used to be covered in a lot of, a lot of heather plants, and then a few years ago we had a bad outbreak of heather beetle which killed off the majority of the plants and let the grassland take over. So the mature heather you see here is what we hope these areas will look like in about 30 years time when the plants have matured. But we're going to continue monitoring all the plots with the help of local volunteers and feeding back the results of that monitoring into management plans at this site and also with other local organisations who also manage heathlands. Increasingly we're using new technology like this drone to survey our reserves. Um, with the images taken from this drone we can look at how our reserves are changing over time and gather essential information about the habitat. Our work wouldn't be possible without the many volunteers who give their time to help us with surveys and with processing the, all the information that we collect during these surveys. 